So the question is the instrument shown in the figure is used for. So if you see the instrument here is going to be your matrix band and here it is your wedge and this is this whole arrangement is used for restoring the missing wall in this case and this is the occlusal aspect and this is the proximal aspect and that's why we have this is the class 2 restoration or the class 2 preparation where we are going to do the restoration and that restoration is conventionally going to be the class 2 amalgam restoration. So uh, yes, we will be talking about the matrices first. So the matrices, if we just talk about the matrices. So first of all, one question that can be asked in exam is the thickness of the matrices which we are using. So the thickness of the band material which is used for class 2 restoration is basically 0.002 inches. That is going to be 0 0.002 inches. Now, yes, these matrices are available in different sizes and there is a range of sizes also. Okay, so if we just talk about the thickness, yes, it varies from 0 0.002 inch to 0 0.005 inch. Oh, sorry, it is 15 inch. Okay, so that is one range for the thickness. Now, if we talk about the width of the matrices which we are using, the band we are using, so the width can be uh, has to be different for primary and the permanent teeth. So, if I just talk about the permanent teeth first, so in the permanent teeth, width may range from one fourth of an inch to three eight of an inch. It can be ranged from one four to three eight of the inch. Okay, that is one thing. Then the primary uh, in the primary teeth if you just try to understand it is going to be uh, anywhere from 1 8 of the inch to 5 16th part of the inch okay so it can be 1 by 8 inch to 5 by 16 inch so these are the dimensions which can be asked in exam now what is the function yes the function is for creating a temporary wall okay we want to create a temporary wall for the introduction of the restoration, if we want to replace missing wall during the uh, introduction of the restorative material, then we are going to use these particular matrices and that is the primary function of it. Now one very important thing here is that the matrix should not extend beyond 2 mm in the cervical occlusal length of the tooth. So if you just see this is the cervical occlusal length of the tooth, okay, so it should not exceed beyond 2 mm. It should not exceed beyond 2 mm of the cervical uh, incisal or cervical occlusal length of the tooth. So that is something which we have to remember. So these are some uh, very important concepts or very important facts which are important for matrices. Now coming to the uh, universal matrix. Now what is universal matrix? Uh, this universal matrix band retainer is also known as the toffel mayer retainer which is given in the figure as well. right? So we know universal matrix retainer is also known as Toffelmeyer or Toffelmeyer actually, I will write it better, Toffelmeyer retainer. Now this particular retainer is ideal when three surfaces that is mesial, the occlusal and distal are prepared and these are com commonly used for two surfaces like class 2 restoration. So these are commonly used for class 2 restoration where two surfaces are lost and these are ideal for those where three surfaces are also lo uh, lost, right? Now that is uh, important thing about this. Now uh, what is the, uh, if you just talk about the other kind of uh, you know the bands or the matrices there is one kind of matrix that is known as the sequent matrix sequent matrix basically uh, this sequent matrix is used wherein uh, the anatomy anatomic adaptation is possible without wedges as well so in this particular one you do not need wedges also if you want to create the anatomical contour that can be made without using the wedges as well. So that is some 
important uh, aspect of this particular matrix band. So these are certain important things about this. Now one more important thing is uh, if we just talk about the steel sequence, basically the steel sequence which we have just seen sequence. I'll just write the name here steel sequence. It is basically a self-adjusting matrix retainer and it does not require wedges. It is used when there is marked difference in the dimension of cervical and occlusal surfaces. So whenever there is a tapering tooth, then you are going to use the steel sequin uh, matrix retainer here or matrix band here. So this is our introduction of the matrices band. And here in the figure, we have the tophalmia or the, uh, the universal uh, matrix band which is shown here. It is used for the conventional class two amalgam restoration. So if we just want to go quickly through the explanation here, so restoration of tooth is going to require great clinical expertise to reproduce the original contacts and contour of the tooth. And if you just uh, need a uh, important uh, instrument for the, and that is going to be your matrix and retainer, which is used for giving the uh, missing wall, right? In case of class two cavities. So parts of matrix, yes, there is a retainer. Now, what is retainer? It is a instrument, road-like instrument that holds a band in desired position and shape. And then you are going to have your bone that can be piece of metal that can be polymeric material, right? So there are a lot of indication and a lot of uh, different kind of matrices according to the need also. So if we just discuss the important ones, so yes, for class two tooth preparation, you are going to use ivory matrix system one and the Storm's registration. For class 2 mesio-occlusal distal also, the matrices and retainer are ivory matrix number 8, tophelmere matrix that is going to be an ideal one. And then if you uh, want to use the direct tooth colored and all other complexes, then you have to use cellophane matrices, anatomic matrices preparation, aluminum or copper colors, and the transparent plastic crown foam. So these are important ones and you can go through the explanation to read more about it. So the answer here is going to be yes, your class 2 amalgam restoration where we are using Toffel Mir matrix system.